Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. We've got a new HP Chromebox to unbox today. This is the G2, and I got the $200 one that has the KB Lake 3865U processor inside, but they do sell some of these that have uh, the full Intel Core chips on them, including an i7, I believe, if you want to spend more, but we went for the low-end one. Power cable is here. Uh, you've got the uh, actual AC adapter here, and that is that. Uh, here is the device itself. This is the box, the Chrome box, if you will. Let's take a look and see what kind of ports we get on it. I'm going to probably take this apart so we can see if it's upgradable. I'll see how hard it is to get it uh, cracked open, which we'll do here in a second. So on the front here, you've got the power button, the micro SD card slot, and two USB 3.0 ports along with a headphone microphone jack. Nothing on this side. Uh, on the back here, you've got a USB Type-C port, and I will... Do a little spoiler, we did just take it out of the box and plug it into a dock to see if we can get power and video out of that port. Uh, we did not, so I don't think this is a full service port. I think it's just data. Now it's got a little lightning bolt icon on there. That is not a power delivery lightning bolt. That is a lightning bolt to indicate you can charge your devices off of that port. Uh, so once again, the USB-C confusion uh, continues here. Uh, the power Adapter plugs in over here. You've got HDMI out here. I'm going to try and see when we get it booted up to see if maybe we can get video out of that port, but I doubt it. But we'll take a look and see. Uh, USB 3 and then two USB 2 ports here. So I would suggest plugging in your keyboard or mouse into these ports. Uh, the $200 unit here does not come with either of those things. So you'll have to bring your own keyboard into the mix. And then you've got gigabit Ethernet there. On this side, you've got a reset button for reverting it back to default settings and a Kensington lock. Uh, like the other one, it is not fanless. The other one meaning the prior generation Chrome box. So it'll probably make a little bit of fan noise, but we will explore that in the main review that you'll be able to find at lon.tv. And then also in the box are a couple of other things. We've got our little warranty disclaimer information and your end user license agreement. Uh, we've got another warranty thing here. It's like a one-year warranty on this one. And then uh, we've got setup instructions, which you probably don't need for a Chrome box, but if you do, you got it here. So we're going to get this thing uh, taken apart now, and we're going to see what is inside. So stay tuned. All right, they really don't want you getting into this thing very easily. So you have to take off the bottom cover. You've got to poke something through the USB port to do that. They've got these things uh, taped down to stuff. Uh, the RAM is underneath this metal shield here. It's kind of glued down to the motherboard here, at least snapped in very securely. Uh, it is DDR4 RAM. You can insert a pair in there. I'm pretty sure this one has a single stick of four gigabytes, but you could uh, stick in another stick if you want and go to eight, maybe even 16. So that is an option. You got to take this part off over there. Uh, right here, we've got the wireless card that looks like it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then right here, you've got the M2 SATA drive. So you have the ability to upgrade RAM and storage. But again, they do not make this easy to do. Uh, this metal plate here has uh, got a connection to the motherboard for the ports here in the back. So I'm not going to go too much further with it. That gives you an idea as to what you got. Uh, we're going to put this thing back together. And you've got to put those uh, rubber feet back on. So hopefully they will stick once again. But it looks like the Chromebox here is upgradable. So stay tuned. We're going to have a full review of this on the main channel which you'll be able to find at lon.tv. And it sounds like something's rattling around in there now. I gotta figure that out real quick. And we'll be back with a full review very soon. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.